So you've been looking at the Amazon Echo Spot, but for some reason, the Echo Show caught your eye as well. And now you don't know which one to get. Well, my friends, today we're going to go over the top five reasons why you would want to get this one over these two. What's up friends, Mike again. Welcome back to my channel where I find awesome things to simplify your life. And just a few things before we start here. I programmed the activation orders of all these devices to computer instead of or echo so that it won't activate it on your end. Unless yours is called computer as well, then I'm uh, <laughs> kind of sorry. And also, we'll be using both devices at the same time in this review so that you can see the features and what you'll be able to see in each of them. And I'll be making a series about Alexa skills and all that good stuff, so if this video has helped and you want to see more, like and subscribe to support the channel. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So first of all, this device has a 10-inch screen. For reference, it's just as big as my iPad over here, and with all that screen real estate, there's a lot you can do with it. So the first useful thing is that you can use this as a digital photo album. And if you look on Amazon, just a standard alone digital non-smart photo album is gonna cost you like a hundred bucks and more. So to do this, you actually have to upload your photos to the Amazon photo app or you can upload it through the website. And after you've done that, you can select a single photo which will stay static throughout the whole time or you can choose an album which will rotate your photos every two, five, or ten seconds. And with changing the background with the spot, everything's the same except everything's smaller and it's even cropped to a circular shape so that it fits on the spot. And the second thing is that, besides using your voice to activate your smart assistant, you can actually use your fingers on the screen as well. This function is called tap to You can find it under accessibility and activate it there. And once you do, there's this corner right here where you press and bam, it shows you all the shortcuts that you can press on. So this whole screen is customizable. You can pick and choose what you like to and even put in voice commands. For myself, I put in shortcuts to turn my desk lights on and off as we can see here, off. Power off. And to turn them back on. Okay. Anyways, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do. There's two screens that you can customize. And it's really useful when you're in a very quiet environment and don't want to use your voice to do all these things. And of course on the spot you have that as well, but you have to swipe to the screen and then press on it. And everything else is a lot smaller, so uh, yeah. And just a quick note, you can access the shortcuts on the screen over here. It's available on both the devices. There's a home button, do not disturb, and settings, and alarms, and all that jazz. It's all there. And the third reason is the bigger screen and the camera. On the spot, the camera is a lot worse than the show. This only has 0.3 megapixels, and this is 5 megapixels. So there's going to be quite a significant difference in picture and video quality. When you do video calling, drop-ins, or selfies. And of course, you can turn off the camera just by going to the settings, device options, and turning it off from there. Or you can turn on the do not disturb button so that no one can drop in on you unexpectedly. The next thing is that the screen is a lot bigger on this so that when you use a security camera that's Alexa compatible, it's a lot easier to see on the show. And in this example, show me my room. Okay. Looking at it from here, you can see a lot more detail, a lot more things in general because it's bigger. But I mean, like if this is close enough for you to see that, the spot isn't bad either. Here are some other examples of other apps being used here and what you can see from them. So here you have the seven minute workout. You're able to see a bit more here. And then here are some timers. On both of these settings, three timers looks like the max before you have to scroll down on the screen to see more timers. And here is an example of shopping. On the show, you can see that there's a lot more detail. There's a price you can add to cart and all that stuff. While the spot, there's less of that and you have to actually scroll your finger a lot more. And the fourth thing is something that the Spot doesn't have, but the Show does have, which is web browsers. So on this device, it comes with Silk and Firefox as its web browser. Computer, open Silk. Here is Silk. So with this, you can see YouTube videos, and you can browse on the web and even go on Gmail. But however, it does not work with Netflix. I've tried it, and unfortunately, it just doesn't work. But besides that, you can watch Prime videos on the Show. Computer, show me some Prime video movies. Here's what I found. And over here, if you're a Prime member, you can see all the movies that are available to you for free, which is awesome. And you can do that on the spot as well. Computer, show me Prime Video Movies. Here's what I found. So obviously, you can see a lot more selection over here than the spot. And of course, when you play the video, the screen is a lot smaller. So scrolling is really a common theme with the spot just because it has a small screen. So if you don't like that, then the show is your best bet. And number five, last but not least, you got the speakers on the back of this thing. They're pretty powerful and definitely sounds better than the spots. The bass is pretty strong. I can feel the vibrations on my table and the mids and highs are pretty clear and detailed as well. I do have to mention that you can notice that the sound is coming from the back and you're kind of missing something in the front. But when you put it against the wall, the sounds reflect back at you and it creates more of a natural ambient sound. So you don't really notice it that much anyways. And of course, I gotta say that they're not as good as the Sonos speakers, but overall, they're 
pretty decent speakers. There's an equalizer inside the sound settings that you can adjust even more. And you can simply connect the Bluetooth just by saying, computer, connect Bluetooth. Now connected to Michael's MacBook Pro. It's that easy. So you can connect it to your iPad, computer, phone, or whatever, and stream it from there. So in my experience, I found it really nice to have this replace all my speakers and keep my desk really clean. But I do have to mention that when I'm editing videos or watching movies, there is a bit of lag and the lips are unsynced, so that's the annoying part. So for that kind of stuff, it's not that great. But if you're watching videos straight from the device or just streaming music from the background, you're gonna be A-OK. -okay. And the last thing is that it's kind of a bonus, so I didn't include it in my top five, but it's also a smart home hub. So when you have Philips Hughes lights or any other smart home devices that you can control, sometimes they need an extra hub that you need to get. But with this, there's a hub actually built inside it so that you can save some money and not purchase that extra piece of hardware to control your smart devices. Overall, you're getting a smart home hub, smart assistant, a tablet, and top tier speakers all packaged into the Echo Show. It's a great device to have on your desk, your living room, your kitchen, or wherever. The only reason you would choose a spot is for its compact form factor, and it has an aux cable to connect to your own speakers if you really, really want to. Otherwise, the show is better in every single way. Everything is blown up and easier to see on the screen. It's gonna cost a bit more, but if those things that I mentioned are important to you, it's definitely worth it. Anyways, I hope I helped you choose one of these because these are really awesome and it really helps me with my life and all that jazz. And I really wanna know what you guys think. Is this worth the extra money? Or are you just gonna get the spot or the dot or the plus or not get any of these devices at all because uh, you're not a lazy person? <laughs> So if this video has helped you out in any way at all, please like and subscribe to support the channel. And ask away if you have any questions, I'd love to help out. And that's it for now, guys. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye!